Welcome back. 2015 was a busy year here in Mid-Missouri. We're taking a look back at some of the biggest stories of the year. 2015 was a difficult year for Missouri lawmakers. The death of State Auditor Tom Schweik in February left the Capitol in shock. He's so great is his mercy towards those who love him. It's a tragedy for Missouri, um, really, and um, it, everybody's having a little bit of a hard time just kind of getting their hands around it. And I believe that he uh, did what he thought was right every time for Missouri taxpayers. Three months later, House Speaker John Deal resigned. This after a newspaper published sexually suggestive text messages he had allegedly exchanged with a Capitol intern. Over the July 4th holiday, flooding at the Lake of the Ozarks damaged docks and led to a no-wake order. Volunteers converged on Phelps County in July to help look for a missing 13-year-old boy living with autism, Jonathan Shea. The search went on for months and covered dozens of square miles. Shea has still not been found. On August 4th, a fire at the Compass Point condominiums in Osage Beach claimed the lives of four young children. Investigators determined the fire was caused by either an air conditioner or a discarded cigarette. The highway patrol lost one of its own on August 28th. Trooper James Bava was killed in Audrain County while chasing a speeding motorcyclist. The motorcyclist has been charged in Bava's death. KRCG 13 spoke with Bava's mother a few months later. He wasn't a natural born leader, so when he put on the uniform, he really felt that sense of empowerment that he was standing behind the badge and it stood for something. The news wasn't all bad in 2015. On September 1st, the only man serving a life sentence for a marijuana offense was released from prison. Jeff Mazansky's life without parole sentence was changed to life with parole after an intense lobbying effort. In early November, the Kansas City Royals won their first World Series title in 30 years. Hundreds of thousands turned out to celebrate in downtown Kansas City. The University of Missouri found itself in the headlines in November. Students forced the resignation of the UM system president and the MU campus chancellor. Protesters claimed university leaders hadn't done enough to address race issues on campus. Interim System President Mike Middleton says the issues protesters raise will be tough to solve. We must confront many uncomfortable societal issues that once confronted will make us stronger. As 2015 came to an end, flooding once again struck the Lake of the Ozarks and the state of Missouri. Dozens of homes have been damaged in Camden and Morgan counties alone. And if you would like to share some of your biggest stories of the year, you can join the conversation on our Facebook page.